following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, it's Captain Will with BoatTest.com. We're here today to test the new Evinrude E-Tech G2 200 HO outboards. We're testing a twin application today. Let's go ahead and take a look. Ideal test conditions allowed for us to truly put the throttle response and torque of the Evinrude E-Tech G2 200 HOs through its paces. We paired them to a true center console fishing machine outfitted and rigged with a large rigid T-top complete with upper helm station. Our test boat had an overall length of 26 feet and a beam measuring 8 feet 8 inches and a dead rise of 20 degrees at the transom. On board, we had 134 gallons of fuel coupled with 25 gallons of water. Our test weight in smooth bay conditions and 6 mile per hour winds with two people on board was recorded at 7,506 pounds. Paired with the engines were Evinrude's RX4 four blade stainless steel props. The Evinrude props featured easily adjustable ventilation ports to fine tune performance and reach that sweet spot. In our tests, we found the Evinrude E-Tech G2 200HO hit a top speed of 62.5 miles per hour and 5,500 RPMs. At that speed, we were burning 34.3 gallons per hour, which gave us a range of 292 miles. Best cruise was found to be at 3,000 RPMs and 29.7 miles per hour. Fuel burn was reduced to 9.7 gallons per hour, offering a range of 490 miles. The engines got us up on plane in 3.8 seconds. We hit 20 miles per hour in 4.8, and reached 30 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds. Our vessel was equipped with an easy to read 7 inch Evinrude Icon touchscreen monitor. One feature the Icon touch display offers boaters is the ability to select the level of dynamic power steering assistance. The driver can now select if they want low, medium or high steering assistance depending upon what level of effort and engine feedback they're looking for. Handling was crisp and responsive. We were able to experience the Evinrude technology of eye trim, which automatically trims the drive while underway at varying speeds throughout the power band range. Notably absent during our testing was a typical noise related to shifting out of neutral and into the forward or reverse positions. Evinrude's placement of the electronic shifter inside the heavy duty gear case submerged in the protective lubricant complements the E-Tech G2 200 HO's maintenance-free mission and more than reduces the traditional clunky noise when shifting. Noise reduction went beyond just the shifting. The cowling design, intake, and exhaust silencer system makes these engines impressively quiet. At the helm and at idle, we recorded 73 dBAs. The clean rigging area does away with the unsightly and antiquated hydraulic or cable steering lines and ram rack mechanisms. Instead, as with all E-Tech G2 engines, Evinrude designed a rotary actuator for the steering, which is directly built into the drive trim cylinder mechanism. This dual access rigging does away with managing pesky helm leaks, the often arduous task of refilling fluid to the steering helm, and compromised rams. With this open area, the Evinrude E-Tech G2 200 HO possesses fast track power and the ability to trim the entire motor up and out of the water to the tune of an 81 degree angle. The Evinrude E-Tech G2 200 HO is a sophisticated engine that offered the performance and handling an offshore boater asks for. The smooth response and innovations to combat corrosion make this an engine anglers in the market should look out for. Well, that concludes our test today of the Evinrude E-Tech G2 200HO in a twin application. I'm Captain Will for BoatTest.com.